Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, VL the King, bringing you guys another commentary here today on my channel. Hope you guys are enjoying the little bit of different content here today. Hope you guys are also enjoying the fact that I've been bringing out these map pack releases as they came out. I wanted to try and go ahead and get those to you guys as soon as I could because obviously it's new content and that's always good content, am I right? But anyway, I wanted to show you guys a video that I got here recently. It's a, it's a gameplay on Nuketown 2025. I'm running around with the M8 and then the B23. And I pick up a couple of other guns here and there, but that's mainly what I'm using. I'm actually using no attachments because I actually just recently unlocked a gun and didn't have any level up on it at all. So it's brand new as far as that goes. So I didn't have any anything on it. And actually, I kind of prefer it with no with iron sights and everything else. I usually don't use iron sights on it, but I think I'm going to start using that from now on because it definitely was really nice to be able to see down that clean barrel at the top. So. That's what I did. In the beginning here, I actually kind of go on a bit of a tear, but I do camp a little bit just because I'm getting ready to get some kill streaks, and I wanted to go ahead and make sure I got those. I got some decent-looking kill streaks going on. If you guys would like, I'm actually going to start doing some more gameplays with non-lethals, but as of right now, I don't have very much to unlock, so I've just been messing around, playing, kind of getting reused to Call of Duty on the Xbox because it's definitely a transition for me. The 360 is so much different, in my opinion. But I've already talked about that before, so I'm not going to bore you guys with re-talking about that again. What I wanted to talk about today is kind of a continuation of another topic that I brought up in one of my four uh, release videos, and that was the one on the remake of Shipment. Uh, Showtime is the actual name of that for those of you guys that haven't checked out that video yet. And what it is, is in there I talked about how positive thinking really helps people out. Uh, and it can really make your life a whole lot better and you have a lot more fun doing everything because you have a better attitude on life and on, you know, whatever you're doing at the time. So my continuation to that topic, and if you guys haven't actually seen that video, I'll go ahead and I'll make sure and link that down in the description below. So that way you guys can check out that video first. I actually talk about it in the last, like, two-thirds of that about, you know, having a positive attitude. It was actually not the main topic, but I wanted to go ahead and bring up the second part of that so you guys have the full understanding of what I'm talking about when I'm talking about positive thinking and what I do which isn't necessarily just positive thinking is something to kind of make you feel better and to make your make you kind of enjoy life and that is doing stuff for yourself sounds kind of weird because people are always like oh you know people are so selfish they do everything for themselves well really no honestly you don't do enough for yourself and I don't mean like here, you know, cheating out other people to do stuff, you know, so it benefits you and no one else. What I mean by doing stuff for yourself is taking that little bit of a time, you know, at the end of the day to do what you want to do. I know that every every single day I make sure that I, I leave enough time for me to have basically me time to do whatever I want, whatever it is. Right now it's been YouTube because I've been really having fun and hopefully you guys can tell by uh, the content that I've been bringing to you guys and how consistent I've been. It's because I just really enjoy doing something like this. I'm not in it to try and, you know, make money or get subscribers or any of that other crap. If you're doing that on YouTube, you're doing it for the wrong reason. You gotta have fun with it, and that's that's really all it is. But back to my, my topic here. Doing stuff for yourself. A lot of things I really like to do, I really like to watch movies and do other stuff like that. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll leave a little bit of time in the day, and I'll designate that, and I'll I'll watch like Netflix or something. I'll watch a TV show that I'm really into. Right now I'm watching a bunch of House and I'm really I'm really into that series. I've been watching a bunch of other series before that and it's just something I like to do. You kind of unwind. You don't think about anything else. You just kind of focus on just having a good time for a little bit. Kind of get away from the world. Get away from everything else that might be going on and burdening you in your day. And so that's what I do. I prefer to do watch Netflix or go golf or stuff like that. Just little things that just kind of make me feel better and have a, have a better day. And so that's the kind of stuff I like to do. I'd really like to know what you guys like to do to kind of unwind and hang out and do whatever you want. You know, if you guys would leave that in the comments below, I'd really like to check that out and kind of see what other people do. Maybe I can, you know, use some extra tips on different things I could do to help me, you know, just have a better day. And so that's all I got for you guys, really. I just want to show you or talk, wow, talk about that. Here just for a little bit just to kind of show you guys and finish off that other topic on on to the actual gameplay here i end up it was me and another commentator that's in my clan his name is matty 4l i'll leave his link in the description too he actually really helped me out in the beginning especially as a as a brand new youtuber it's kind of hard to make your way and so he kind of introduced me to a, a couple of people and he's been really cool and so he and i've been playing some black ops 2 here lately and he and i both went off this game 
I ended up with like 55 kills and he ended up with like 68 or something like that. He was actually trailing me here during this game. And then I just, I couldn't, I struggled to get kills there at the end. But, you know, it happens. You kind of choke whenever you're trying to go for a 60 plus or whatever. So I didn't actually make it to 60, but I made it above 50 and I thought that was good enough. But most of my kills are in the beginning here. I'll probably cut out the, com or not cut out the commentary, cut out the gameplay here just to match whatever I end up doing on my commentary over the top of this. That way you guys don't have to watch the boring ends where I choke. If you guys do want to see that though, next time I'll make sure and take note of that and make sure I make my commentary long enough. But I didn't have a whole lot else I want to talk to you guys about. I just wanted to have a little bit of time just to talk to you guys about what I was thinking and finish my topic from before because that's something that's really important to me and I thought maybe I'd send that off with you guys so you guys had a couple extra tips to go off of. But that's all I got for you guys today. Just remember, kind of take that to heart. Think about it, you know, just kind of make a little bit of extra time for yourself and you'll enjoy life so much more. You'd be surprised. I ended up finishing the first half of this gameplay, by the way, 29-0. Uh, and 0. I, or 29-1, and 1, something like that. And so going into the second half here, I end up choking a lot and don't get as many kills as I should have. But, you know, it happens. And I'm taking a positive outlook. See what I did there? Yeah, I'm so creative. I know, right? That's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys like the gameplay and like the commentary. And I hope you'll remember what I said. And I'll go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.